Hello, my name is Evan, a lead scouter on Team 195, and this video is to help other robotics teams with their match scouting. What is the importance of match scouting? Each year a different game is released, which means new ways to play a game as well as more competition from new teams. The purpose of scouting is to find the team in which your robot would best perform with during eliminations, or how to play against a certain team or alliance. Collecting data on each robot throughout the competition is a good strategy. A good way to start off the collection on each robot is to create a scouting sheet. The sheet should include information that your team wants to collect on each robot. Since each year the game is different, you can't use the same sheet, but you can use it as a template. There are typically three major parts of an FRC game. You can break down the scouting sheet into these three parts. The first is autonomous, the time at the beginning of the match in which the robot must perform a task on program only. You would want to know how well the robot performed this task, as well as what they did during it. The second part is known as the teleoperated phase, where the drivers take control to play the game. This part is where most of your scouting should take place, as it is one of the most important factors to reviewing a robot. You would want to record the points that the robot has scored during this phase, as well as where they scored if there are multiple scoring locations. There could also be a section to evaluate the robot based on criteria your team may want. Some examples is its speed or mobility as well as its defensive rating, as most games do not give points for defense, but it is still a crucial role to play. And the final portion that could be included is the end game. This is usually a special objective that is optional to complete before the match ends and rewards high points for doing so. This may sound like a lot for some, but it can be condensed into a scouting sheet. Keeping the sheet organized is also an important aspect of the data. You don't want it to look too confusing to anyone else analyzing it. If there are any portions on the sheet where it may confuse some of your team members, go over it before competitions so they understand it. Including diagrams or pictures on the sheet to display the field or field objectives can help in understanding. At the end of the competition, you're left with the scouting data on each robot during each of their matches. Now is the time to make use of the data you've obtained. Organize the information in the way that you see best, whether it be by team or match. You can now analyze the robot's performance throughout the day. You can also review their performance as the competition goes on, but having more data on a robot would be better. Organizing the information by paper is not the only way. Many teams have incorporated scouting digitally, creating spreadsheets that would help them better analyze or collect their data. You can choose your own method that would be easiest for your team to scout. 